Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I film all things on finance, budgeting, lifestyle, food, all that fun stuff. And in today's video, we are going to be updating my sinking funds envelopes. And I don't have too much time. I have quite a busy day today, so let's get to it. Perfect, okay, so for the first envelope, we are gonna start with savings. Actually, hold that thought. I want to start with emergency today because guys, I have an announcement. I have officially hit $1,000 in my emergency fund. If you watched my last video, um, you guys would know, um, I told you guys that um, I have a secondary income coming from my business and I got my first check from it and I um, went ahead and took care of my emergency envelope and got it to a thousand. Of course, I'm not gonna stop there, but I just wanna let you know I did hit that goal and I went ahead and I put it in the bank. So you're not gonna see the 1000 in here. I will um, hopefully for the next video, it's been really crazy here guys with working two jobs and you know, have my music stuff going on and it's just been crazy. Um, hopefully for my next video, I will have like a 1K slip I'll probably make it black using like this black paper. I don't know. I just like the way black looks, it's super sleek. Um, but yeah, so I just wanna let you guys know that I did hit that goal. Okay, so let's go ahead and fill up emergency. So we are gonna have $10 be put in here. And I have that $2 bill in here, but you know, we don't count that. So technically, we have $1,010 in emergency. And again, I will make a, a 1K slip. So you guys won't be confused, especially for like new people that are coming onto the channel. So we have $1,010. Like that's so crazy. Um, yeah, so can you tell it's been a crazy week? My brain is just frazzled. So please excuse me if I do not make sense with whatever it is that I am going to say in this video because it's probably gonna sound very scatterbrained. Okay, now let's start back up at the top with savings. We are gonna put $15 in my savings envelope. Here we go, so we're gonna put 15. Take out this money. Organize it. Cool, so that gives us a total of one hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, two hundred, ten. 2025. So we have $225 in here. Hello, Tib. Okay. So $225. Excuse me. <laughs> Tiblet. Boop. You just boop the camera. Okay. 225 bucks. That's amazing. Okay, now Tib's envelope. See, he knew we were gonna fill his envelope next. We're gonna add $35 in here. We do still have money in here. Um, and we'll see he needs 35, so 20, 30, five. Let's organize this. I feel like I go about the hard way organizing my money, but. Okay, so that gives us a total of 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60. So we have $60 here. Actually, I'm gonna recount that. I don't know, 20, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60. No, I'm right. I'm not sure, like I said, what I wanna do with this envelope for Tib. I don't know if I wanna just make it like a, a cash stuffing envelope or if I really wanna make it a sinking fund because I have my emergency 
uh, my emergency fund and I actually ended up deciding I wanted to keep my medical envelope for now um, and just use it as another savings fund but obviously like for medical reasons and that will also include um, vet visits um, and possibly even like groomers visits for summer my dog so still not sure but I don't know thinking on it but for now we're just gonna put money in here cool okay so next we have medical I did have to get into this um, envelope actually for Tib's medicine um, if you guys if I hadn't told you guys already Tib has feline leukemia so um, I um, tend to uh, I always try to buy um, holistic medications for him and uh, they seem to be doing pretty well. So we're gonna add $20 into medical. And we're starting back at square one, unfortunately, but that's okay. I will spend whatever means necessary for my baby to live a long, happy life. Okay, um, let's see. Okay, so for car, we are gonna add 10 Dewares. Okay, this car. I'm not sure if I mentioned this in the last video, I probably did, but I'm also thinking about um, separating my car envelopes um, for car maintenance and then new car. Pretty sure I said this in the last video, but I don't remember. So car is gonna be getting $10. Forty, sixty, eighty, ninety. So we have ninety dollars in the car. Okay, music and birthday. I decided to leave these blank because I don't know. Um, I don't think I'm gonna have any money left over. I'm pretty sure I just got like whatever this amount is here, but just in case, um, I'm gonna leave them blank for now, but more than likely we're gonna get none. Okay, so gifts um, may for whatever reason is just birthday month for all my friends, um, all my Gemini friends out there. <laughs> um, my dad's birthday is on the 25th. My um, videographer for my music videos, his birthday is on the 25th. And then one of my best friend's birthday is, on, is actually tomorrow. And then my hairstylist birthday was actually on Mother's Day, which reminds me I need to text him and tell him happy belated. And then um, I think there was another birthday um, in May that I can't remember right now. And then my sister's birthday is in June, June 20th, which isn't early June, but still, you know, June is right after May. And then there's Father's Day in June. And then my dog's birthday is also in June. So yeah and then mother's day just happened so i did have to take money out of gifts this time let's see so i'm not gonna have as much as i did yeah i only have 30 then we're gonna add 80 here so 20 40 60 80 So that's going to be 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 110. So we have 100, back up to $110 in gifts. I feel like I'm going to be playing catch up with gifts for a while. Um, I need to make like a budget on how much I want to spend on each person, you know. Um, okay, so vacation is going to be getting 45. There we go. Vacation envelope is nice and full. I'm loving it. Got to take a quick coffee sip. Perfect. Okay. So vacation is going to be getting 45. 20, 40, 5. 
Look at all this. I'm loving it, okay. Uh, thinking about taking the ones out, I need to make like a ones envelope. I don't know why I have ones in here, but I do, so whatever. So that's gonna leave me with 20, 40. Hold on, let me count in the middle here. I feel like I'm always like counting on the side of the camera. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So that's 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68. So 268 dollars in vacation. Hopefully I counted that right because these bills keep sticking together. Cool. $268 in vacation. Okay, now my spending is gonna get 50. Let's see here. So spending, I believe I have some coins in here. Yeah, I do. Okay, cool. So I actually have a coin envelope that I put all my coins in and then when it just gets full, um, I like take it to Kroger or wherever those like coin star machines are, dump it in there and get uh, actual cash for it. So I'm gonna set that aside and put that in the envelope off camera. But anyway, so spending's gonna get 50. 20, 40, 50, and then I have, so I have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 72 dollars. Oh wait, did I count that right? Oh my god, okay. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, one, two. Yeah, 72 dollars in spending, which is great because I never have money left over in spending. Like I told you guys, I am a spender, so. Makes me wonder if I spent my card and I forgot to put money in the bank to replace what I spent the card. But I guess we'll find out whenever I'm short on a bill or something. Which if so, then that money will come straight out of spending. Assuming I didn't spend it all. <laughs> Gotta love it. Cool. $72 in spending. Now next is beauty. And beauty is going to be getting 25 Oh wait, what did I say? 25. Done, okay. There we go, take the money over here. Why do I suck at doing this so much, organizing the money? Do you have ones in here too? Yes, I do. Okay, okay cool. So in beauty, we now have 20, 40, 50, what? <laughs> 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72. So you have $72 in beauty. I don't know about you, but I like buying luxury beauty products, so. Definitely worth saving the money. You know, if I'm putting something on my face, um, you know, I want it to be good quality products, so. Okay, last but not least, we have giving. Giving is going to be getting 10. I think I have money in here already. Yep, so I have 15. So adding this 10 here, I now have 25. Tib wants outside. Yeah, 10, 20, 25. I am a huge believer in when you give, and when you give, you know, from the bottom of your heart, not just like giving 
uh, for so you can receive things back. But I truly believe if you give because you truly want to give and contribute to society in some good way, uh, the universe will give back to you. Um, and I believe it says it in the Bible too. Um, I am a Christian. I've never read the Bible, which is really bad, but you know, I recognize that that's something I should do at least once. And um, I'm pretty sure it says in the Bible, like whenever you give something, you'll receive it back 10 times fold, something, 10, tenfold or something like that. I don't know. I think you know what I'm trying to say, but comment down below um, if you know what verse I'm talking about. Pretty sure I'll look it up whenever I'm finished um, filming this video, but yeah, so you know what time it is now. Um, now we are going to calculate all of this and see how much we have. And we're going to see if I grew any more from last week, which obviously I did because of the 1000 that's now in my emergency fund. But let's just see how much I grew. Okay, guys, after going through my envelopes, making sure, um, double checking like how much is in there and counting everything, I actually have a whopping. Here we go, 2,062 dollars. Whoa, 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 that is amazing. Even better than the number I had right here. <laughs> Heck, that's, that smaller number made me just as happy. So but this is great. I get to see um, truly what I'm truly saving in my accounts. And this is amazing. Anyways, thank you guys so much, so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And uh, please leave a comment down below telling me any um, tips you may have on um, budgeting. It can be cash envelope stuffing related or it could be something uh, completely different that you guys do for budgeting. Always down to here. Anyway, have a good one. Bye.